In this video, we're going to be recommending the best entry level computers for Photoshop. Now, in the six years I've been making these recommendations, I don't think I've ever recommended any Apple computers. This year, it's going to be dominated by Apple. We're going to start off with the Apple 2023 Mac Mini. This is a desktop computer which basically gives you a very small device that's very capable. It can run a 4K display. And with this machine, you're getting past the minimum system requirements required for Photoshop. It has eight gigabytes of unified memory, 256, very fast storage. And you've also got the connections that you want, the gigabyte ethernet and also Thunderbolt and HDMI. Now at 499, it is approximately $400 less than the M1 version. So when the M, this is the M2 version. And when the M1 version came out about three years ago, it was $899. So you can see that Apple have been really, really trying to finesse the price of this for the current economic conditions. Now, the current price of 499 is as low as you ever find it. And with the M2 chip, this thing runs very, very fast. The next recommendation is this very slick, very slender Apple 2023 iMac. Now, this is one of the first computers to have the M3 chip. And the M3 chip is currently the fastest chip in the world. Now, the iMacs were launched at the scarily fast event that was on 31st of October, Halloween of 2023. The specs for this are kind of deceptive. It's an eight core CPU, eight core GPU, and it comes with a 24 inch, four and a half K iMac display. Now this is a very high quality display and it adds several hundred dollars to the cost of the, basically you've got the same specs as the Mac Mini, but the Mac Mini currently doesn't come with an M3 chip and the M3 chip is extremely fast. The current price at $11.99, there is a coupon that you can get with Amazon. And with all of these devices, I would strongly recommend getting the Apple Care. You can get Apple Care for iMac here for $469. There's gonna be other deals for Apple Care with the other devices we're looking at. That gives you an extended warranty, basically about three years. Now the eight core version for the M3 chip will run at about the same speed as the M2 Pro version. And the graphics, the eight core graphics will be about as powerful as the M2 Pro graphics. So it's extremely powerful and very energy efficient. And with the current coupon of $49, you get it essentially for $1,149, which is pretty good value in my view. Now, both of those come with eight gigabytes of unified memory. That's sufficient for Photoshop. However, some people do want more memory. So for the tw Apple 2023 Mac Mini M2 Pro, Pro version, you do get 16 gigabytes of unified memory. You also get double the storage, more multitasking. So if you're working with Photoshop and Lightroom or Photoshop and Illustrator, it will give you that option. There are more connections here than with the standard entry-level Mac Mini. Here we have the Apple Care for Mac at $99. Again, I recommend that currently the prices here are somewhat cheaper than they would be if you went to apple.com. Now, one of the benefits of going with Apple is that the resale price if you hold on to these devices for a few years and then you sell them onto the used market they hold most of their actual value so you don't have that sort of 80 percent depreciation that you get with a windows computer uh, and that's something that can help when you eventually come to upgrade the system recommendations for an entry-level ipad the ipad is the only tablet that can actually run photoshop you'll get a free iPad version of Photoshop as soon as you subscribe. So you can run it on this $249 entry level ninth generation iPad. This one comes with hardware acceleration and it's the first one in the family to come with hardware acceleration. $249, you can also go for an Apple iPad Air at $500. That one has a much better display and also it's a much faster chip as well. Now, if you are going for a Windows machine, I'm gonna recommend watching this video here, the 16 gigabytes of VRAM, 
and also does Photoshop even need a graphics card in 2021? What I'm going to be recommending is the 5600G and the 5700G. These two are chips that I recommended several years ago, about three years ago when they first came out. The prices are now about half what they were, but they will work pretty much just as well with Photoshop. And also you've got the 5700G. That's another really powerful GPU and CPU combined together. Like I say, I recommend watching the videos. Those will give you some idea of what these are capable of and also how to set them up in a way that will allow you to get the very best performance out of them. Now, if you're going for an Intel build, I'm gonna be recommending one Intel chip. I recommend watching this video here, which is the Intel Arc A770, 16 gigabytes. This is a sort of $300 CPU graphics card. I'm not recommending this one, but it will give you an idea of how the Intel GPUs work with the Adobe Creative Cloud. This video was made more than a year ago and it's got a bit of a negative tone to it. And that's because the drivers from Intel were not very good. They have, they have improved significantly. And I'm going to be recommending one of those, one of those GPUs with the modern drivers, with the up-to-date drivers. So for Intel, there's the Core i5-12600KF. This does not have onboard graphics. It is very reasonable. And you can get that with the Intel Arc A380 for $284. You can get them separate as well. There's some information here about how everything works out. So it's $154 and $129 there. You can get various versions of the A330 that are even less than this. That will give you a very good entry level setup for Photoshop and it will allow you to do quite a lot of multitasking as well. Now, if you can afford it, I would recommend upgrading that GPU to an MSI Gaming RTX 3050 six gigabyte. Now the six gigabyte versions of the RTX 3050s, they came out in the last few weeks and they're powerful enough for Photoshop, but they don't cost a fortune. And I do think the RTX Nvidia drivers are better than the Intel drivers. So you get something slightly better. You're paying a little bit more for it, but I think it will give you much more performance, much more raw performance and much more stable drivers as well.